It's Monday, October 29th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Halloween is fast approaching, and you can almost smell the scent of soon-to-be-smashed pumpkins wafting up through the air. Mitt Romney is using the occasion to bash Hillary Clinton by describing Hillary's house of horrors. <laughs> According to Romney, you go in one room, she wants to raise your taxes. You go in another room, she wants to have government take over your health care. Come on, what kind of haunted house is that going to be? An animatronic Hillary Clinton waving around a pen to sign a law? No one's going to pay to see that. What about if you go into a room and she wants to involuntarily harvest your organs? Now that's something that would scare people. Seriously, Mitt, if you make this election about involuntarily harvesting organs, you have a good chance of winning. By the way, I'm looking forward to seeing what other seasonally appropriate jokes you use to attack Hillary. Perhaps her energy policy deserves a lump of coal, or her policy on Iraq is a real turkey, or for Groundhog Day, having her in the White House would mean reliving Bill Clinton's presidency all over again. Two nonpartisan journalism organizations have published a study of how the media has covered the presidential campaign so far. The study found that 35% of print, online, television, and radio stories covered Democrats favorably, while 26% covered Republicans favorably. Also, 63% of stories were about the game aspects, winning, losing, fundraising. Only 15% were about policy proposals. Now, I'm sure many of you out there will decry this coverage as a reason for all of America's political problems, but don't hate the reporter for giving you what you want. Let's face it, America, would you rather hear about Obama's Medicare policies or the political implications of Obama girls booty shaking? That's what I thought. Finally, today in Iowa, MySpace will hold its second live streaming presidential dialogue. This one features Barack Obama. The last one featured John Edwards. Users submit text or video questions to be moderated in real time. Look, I don't really see how this is going to be helpful to the political process. I mean, the kinds of people who try to contact candidates in these forums are probably going to be young girls named, for example, Veronica, who, you know, look nice, physically fit, whatever, and she says she wants to be your friend. So you think, okay, sure. And then she leaves a comment the next day and she says, if you really want to get to know me, go to this special website. So you click on it, fine. And it's this adults-only website, and I thought you wanted to be my friend, Veronica, and it turns out you're just this made-up profile to direct traffic to a porn site, and, uh, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, MySpace Presidential Forum. Barack, take my advice. The only messages you can trust are the ones that come from Tom. Well, that's it for today's hit. Go to politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including Obama's decision to step up his attacks on Hillary Clinton. And don't worry, we promise not to harvest your organs unless we ask you first. Right here on Playbook TV. I'm sorry, I need to do that again. I really have to nail the involuntary organ harvesting joke, which is something that I'm sure has not been said often in the studio.